Hey guys, so I have a warning for all of you. Now, I've talked about how many Christians are falling away from Jesus and, you know, they're letting the enemy lure them away to the imagination of their own hearts. But this message is important now more than ever. The spirit of the beast is very alive in these last days and he's leading Christians away and devouring them. The enemy walks around like a lion, waiting for whoever he may devour. And that means that, you know, he's out there for people that are really on fire for Jesus and that have that Holy Spirit inside of them. And he wants to snuff it out. He wants to make sure that your mission is failed. He wants to make sure that you never win any souls. He wants to make sure that neither you nor the souls that you're trying to save make it to heaven. And that's what he's doing to most Christians right now. He's luring them away so that they can do whatever they want, so that they can be distracted from what they're really supposed to be doing. And this is where the verse, he that endure to the end will be saved, really comes into play. Because you have to endure to the end with Jesus in order to be saved from the tribulation. So you need to be strong in these last days. You need to stick it out with Jesus until the end. It's hard, I know, but you be strong. Because if you succumb to your fleshly desires, then it's game over. Because the beast will devour your soul. And that's what's going on right now. The beast is devouring souls. He's snuffing out lights so that no soul can be saved or see Jesus in those people that were assigned to be ambassadors of Christ. Jesus is returning very soon. You don't know when he's going to return, so you better make sure that you're ready, because if you're caught asleep, you're not going. Jesus is going to not be seen by anyone when he returns. It's going to be a twinkle of an eye. It's going to be that fast. So you better be prepared, because he's not going to be some dude performing miracles on the street. The Bible says if you see those, do not follow them, because they are false Christ. So... If you have run away from the love of Jesus, go back to Jesus today. Make sure that you are prepared for him when he returns. And make sure that you aren't left behind. It's happening very soon. And Jesus is trying to get through those people that have walked away. He's trying to warn them. Hey, I'm coming back soon. You better get prepared. Don't let the beast devour you. Don't let him suck you back into the world. Don't let him devour your soul. Don't let him snuff out your light. Because the beast is devouring people that were once on fire for Jesus. And he's devouring people that were never on fire for Jesus. So make sure that you get right with Jesus today. You stick it out with him. You stay with him until he comes back. By the way, if you want proof that what I'm saying is true and the spirit of the beast is active, then look no further than some people on the internet. There are people that draw themselves kissing beast characters, you know, like um, anthropomorphic animals. And what was the sin that set God off before he flooded the earth in the Old Testament? Bestiality. It's coming, guys. Jesus is just about to return. You need to be prepared so that you may go with him when he returns. Please take what I've said to heart. I will see you guys later.